Hey bookworms! So if you've watched my last video you would know that I was kind of going to try and refrain from buying books today at work but of course I kind of couldn't really resist. I popped into a charity shop and found this book, um, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. Now unless you've been living under a rock for the, your entire life, obviously you're very familiar with the Harry Potter series, but I have a confession to make. I have never read the series. I think I read The Philosopher's Stone like when it first came out when I was little, but I don't know, I never really wanted to follow it through, I just, I don't know, I never really got into it, so, yeah, so I found that, and I do actually own most of the books, I kind of bought them as they came out, but I never really read them, because I like the idea of owning them, I just didn't want to read them, I don't know, I'm weird like that, so, most of the books I own are kind of this design, and I was missing two books. I didn't have The Tethy Hallows and I didn't have The Prisoner of Azkaban. Now I'm pretty sure I did own that because I remember I read The Philosopher's Stone. I think I read The Chamber of Secrets and I'm pretty sure I started reading The Prisoner of Azkaban which must have meant I owned it at one point in my life. I just have no idea where it is. So I don't know. I'm going to try and find it again. But I don't know whether it's just me or I, I can't stand to have half a book series with one design and then kind of filling in the gaps with a completely different design because and I don't know whether you know but they've started republishing the Harry Potter books with a different front page and because all of my designs are the old design because I bought them as they came out I really don't want to buy new Harry Potter books and have them like mismatching because that would really annoy me to look at um, I don't know I guess I have some sort of OCD about that or something but um, yeah so I went to the charity shop today and saw they had three Harry Potter books and um, I couldn't remember off the top of my head which books I had and which books I didn't. So I kind of phoned my dad up like, Dad, you need to tell me like what Harry Potter books I have. I wasn't quite that aggressive about it. I was like, oh, can you do me a favour? Can you go into my room and tell me the books I have um, in the Harry Potter series? And so he kind of read them out and I realised that I did own two of the other books in the shop. I think they were like The Order of the Phoenix and um, Half-Blood Prince. So I was like, okay, I already have those two, but I don't have the um, Deathly Hallows. So, where are the fox in my garden? I would show you, but I think he's kind of running away. Oh my god, my, my back door's open. Could have come in my house. But, um, I'm sorry, anyway. Um, where was I? Mm -mm, yes, Deathly Hallows. So I was like, yeah, I don't have that. Um, I'm going to buy that. And I was planning to read the Harry Potter series over the summer. But um, I think I might start reading them now. Because <laughs> The Philosopher's Stone is actually quite a diddy book. And The Chamber of Secrets is like, quite small as well. So, I don't know. Oh, look at the fish. What's that doing? Um, I'm not actually sure whether I'm going to review these because I know they're very much loved pretty much everywhere and I'm sure I'm going to love them too. Um, so I don't really want to cause any controversy like reviewing the books and having unpopular print opinions. I don't know. I might review them. I'm not sure. I guess we'll have to wait and see. I don't think I'm going to read them in order though. I think I'm going to read like one book then read something else and kind of go back and forth. But um, yeah, that's it. Um, sorry for uploading like two videos in two days. Like it seems I go a couple of days without reviewing and suddenly, a couple of days without um, uploading, sorry, and suddenly go, oh, I'm just gonna upload all the videos now. And um, also I don't know whether you noticed, but in my last video I was wearing my red and black um, check shirt. And I was in fact wearing that in the second video that I posted. And I swear I do have more clothes than that. I just happened to be wearing the shirt on two days that I was recording. So I do have a wardrobe. I just don't make like much use of it, I guess. But uh, yes, I will see you guys soon. Bye.